football team is so far. Welcome to Monroe Central Football. This is Dale Eddy, and tonight the Monroe Central Seminoles will take on the Fort Five Cadets. We'll be right back with the starting kickoff. A good football team works together, helping each other to do their best. A good insurance agency works together too, showing you the best coverage for you and your family. F.W. Shoemaker Insurance Agency represents several companies, so you benefit from personally designed coverage for your home, autos, or business. Talk to one of their agents about all your insurance needs, including life insurance and annuities. As they continue to look out for your future, F.W. Shoemaker Agency is celebrating over 100 years of service. The Seminoles of F.W. Shoemaker Agency, two winning traditions. For over 100 years, Bauer Turner Furniture has been serving our community with quality furniture and bedding. After a big day, kick back and relax in a dual recliner sofa. Or choose from living room suits featuring couches with comfy armchairs or matching recliners. Then pick the perfect coffee table and tables and lamp to suit your personality. Of course, they stock bedroom furniture to please the country, traditional or contemporary decorator. Kitchen tables and chairs, hutches, entertainment centers and more can be delivered to your home this week. So stop by Bauer Turner Furniture today. We're back and we're ready for the starting kickoff here. Uh, Monroe Central winning the toss and deferring to the second half. And so we'll have the opening kickoff, number 85, Laser, to kick. And this one's about ready to get underway. Long kick at the 10-yard line, picked up there. Pretty good coverage as they're going to down as Raider along with several others, number 68. And the cadets will take over at a 15, 16 yard line for their first and 10. Quarterback for the cadets, number 11, possibly one of their better athletes. little confusion in the backfield. Handoff up the middle. Hit immediate at the line. Gain of possibly a couple. Number 64 Singleton at the bottom of that pile. Along with Habig English. Second down and seven. High backfield. Engel bringing him up. Second man through. And he stopped at the line. No gain. Over 
bring up third down. They do give him one, third and six, 11.03 on a running clock. Nice evening for football, a little bit cool, but nice. Keep the rain away and we'll be in great shape. Shotgun formation. Looking underneath. And I believe it's going to be called pass complete to number 36. Fourth down and short. Fourth down and a yard. So it's going to pick up with a fourth down, fourth down here, going to be a punt situation. Back deep will be Wells and Nick Bellman standing at about the 42, 43 yard line. And we have a timeout on the field at 10 minutes and 12 seconds to go in this first quarter. There's a timeout and we'll be right back. the touchdown at 9 minutes and 52 seconds from the Barnesville Hospital School Board. It's 6 to nothing. Laser will kick this away. So just that quickly, our nose get one on top and we hope we have that in the can. Laser number 85. Another deep kick. Picking it up on the one yard line. Number 11, their quarterback, and he's got some room. Laser, along with Laser hitting first, and number 30, Ring, I believe, on the stop. But a beautiful field position for the uh, cadets. They're going to be placed at about the 45 yard line. So cadets will take over here first and 10, nine minutes, 40 seconds. Bring him out of huddle. Again from the shotgun. Sidecar. And he'll keep it and loss on the play. CBL there by a, a number of red jerseys led by English and others. Loss of two, second and 12. Twins to both sides, single set in the backfield. He's back, looking to pass, a lot of pressure and he's down. Number 72, McConnell. Great defensive job by Eddie McConnell. Defense has been the strength of this team all year long, and they're again coming through with a beautiful no place to go. Another loss back to the 31 yard line. This will bring up third and very long. Third and 24, they have it marked. Uh, again from the shotgun, single set to the far side, looking again. Pressure, gonna drop it off underneath. And he's got immediately somebody heading by the shoestring there in the back, number 24, Cricket. And stopped then by Ishii. And we do have a flag, unsportsmanlike, uh, against the cadets. A little bit of emotion there as he was caught. 
I believe they're going to mark him for no gain, and this is going to put the ball well back. Bring down fourth and 30. 30 some yards and number 59 will have to get good of this ball quickly and we're going to get it in good field position again is this going to go out of bounds well not go out of bounds but it's going to stop at about the 44 yard line draws wisely letting the ball drop there and we're going to have our second possession of this in good field position we're in the 45 territory at the 44 yard line See what we can come up with with this one the last time. A beautiful reverse pass and uh, Nick Doman on the end of a beautiful stone ball. Dexter Hughes under center. Give it to the first man to Raider. Raider pick up two or three yards up the middle. Rough going on the right side. They'll give him possibly three. Nick Doman stepping out and Lazier coming in for this play. Seven minutes, 35 seconds remaining in the first quarter. Dexter Hughes again. High formation, motion coming to this side. Wells, toss. Ring runs into his own man, break side, and just breaks the momentum enough. He's caught from behind, number 55, making the tackle. No gain. Bring up third down and seven. Coach delivering the, the play to Hughes himself. Hughes back in the huddle. Nick Bellman will break to the far side. Dexter from the shotgun slot to the right. Two sidecars. Looking. Has a man high. Meant for Nick Billman. Just out of the outstretched hands of Nick. Fourth down. Down and seven. Habig will drop to his own 46 yard line and punt this away. Ingles picks it up right at the goal line. He gets it back to about the 16 yard line. Ishii and 51 Martis Stevens, I believe. So Fort Fry is going to pick this up 624. They're going to have first and 10 at the 12 yard line. I'm sorry, 17 yard line. Ingles will set the ball club. Twins to the left. Hand off. Single setback and not much there. Number 24, the ball carrier. Met by a host of red jerseys. He said he picked up a yard, so it was second down and nine. High formation. First man through. Not too much there. Cole Lewis and Milton. With the services of Hogue. Gonna bring up third down and four. 
Okay, they gave him five on that carry. Off the right side. And goes from the shot. Gun looking. Drops it off to the right side again. He's got a man this time, and he'll pick up a short gain, number 44. And that's enough for the first down. First first down for the cadets. And this... Ingles under center for this play. First man through, number 44. Tripped up at the line, but he's certainly sorry, number 24. He picks up four. And with four minutes and 44 seconds to go in this first quarter, Coach Sacosta wants to talk it over, so we have a timeout on the field. The Barnesville Hospital School Board is six to nothing in favor of our nobles. We'll be right back. <laughs> Four minutes, 16 seconds, six to nothing. The cadets break and huddle. Number 11 under center. Second man through. Not much there on the right side. Habig, Ishi, and others. Fourth down. Fourth down in five, three minutes and 40 seconds. Wells and Nick Doman standing at their 35 yard line. Should get this again in pretty good field position. Out of bounds, standing at the about 35 yard line where the Knowles will take this over. First and 10 from that position on the field. Leading six to nothing. Dexter Hughes will bring the ball club to the line of scrimmage, is under center. Gives it to Cricket. Cricket got some room. And number 10 is going to drive him out of bounds after a long game. First down plus about, about 20 yards there. Breaking to the outside and going clean around the corner. Very nice job. Corey Prickett, number 24. High backfield, slot to the right again is Prickett. Second man, no going. That's ring, and there's nothing there. Gilman back in, bringing the play from the sideline. And Gilman will break to this side. Hughes in the shotgun. Stepping up. He's got some pressure from behind. He's going to tuck it in. 
pick up short yardage on the right side as he dove forward back to about the original line of scrimmage. Not quite possibly, but Yeah, they mark it at the original line of scrimmage, so it's going to be third and ten. So again, pretty much a passing situation, third and ten. Doman coming back in again with the play. And he'll break to the far side this time. Eye backfield. Slot to the right. Dexter Hughes under center. He drops, and he's looking. It's a screen. Goes to Moten. Moten. Just caught by a shoestring, number 11, Ingles, as it looks like he is going to have some room there, but Ingles came up and just caught his toe and down. So it's fourth, fourth and a long seven. So again, we're going to have to give the ball away at one minute and 29 seconds remaining in the first quarter. Hey, Beagle is standing at his own 40 four yard line low angle to the side going out of bounds at the five yard line at the six one minute, seven seconds. First and ten for the Fort Fry Cadets. Ball on the six-yard line. Very nice kick, putting him deep in their own territory. Still a six-nothing advantage for the Nose. Ingles under center. Second man through, nothing there. Number 24, the ball carrier. They say he lost a yard. Second and 11. Angles bringing the ball clubbed up. Standing on the four or five yard line. Second man through. Nice move. As he came through the line, sidestepping. That's number 10. And he picks up a pretty pretty good bunch of that. He's going to be up. It's going to be about third and three. That's going to take us to the end of the first quarter here as time runs down on our Barnesville Hospital scoreboard it's six to nothing in favor of our nose we'll take a break and we'll be right back with the second quarter action be a winner catch a great deal on a new or pre-owned car or truck at Milton Ford Look at the selection in the lot or let them use their locator service to find exactly what you want. Moultons have served Monroe County with quality Ford parts and service for four generations. And they're still a home light dealer offering sales, service, and parts. So why not let Mike help you reach your goal when it comes to your next vehicle? Be a winner. Shop Moulton Ford. You'll be pleasantly surprised at the clean and beautiful used furniture and appliances at Bob's. Like this Hard Rock Maple Dining Room suit at only $5.99 or this five-piece kitchen set. Like new and antique bed frames, new bedding and bedroom suits. Plus recliners, tables, desks, dressers and lots of other items with inventory constantly changing. Appliances are priced to sell. Washers, dryers, refrigerators, stoves and this upright freezer at only $319. The price is right at Bob's Used Furniture and Appliances. down and three ball on the 13 yard line 
Ingles, not much there. Didn't need too much, but I don't believe he got it. It's going to bring up a kicking situation as it is short, about a yard short. Almost picked that up on second effort. So they're going to be putting this out of close to the end zone, standing about the four, three, four yard line. And we should get the ball in pretty good field position. Falls down and Good fly ball. Not exactly what the doctor ordered. So Fort Fry is going to take it over again. And they're going to have the ball. It's on the 47 yard line, 48 yard line. And uh, Instead of great field position for us, it's going to give them a second chance here. 11 minutes, 11 seconds. Ingle again, going to be up under center. He'll set his ball club, second, taking the second man through, looking to pass, straight over the middle. He's got a man. Up into there by Cole Lewis, number nine on the reception. Big gainer down to about the 31 32 yard line. Taking to the second man through, just simply dropping back and hitting the crossing pattern. And uh, just that quickly, they're down in great position at the 30 32 yard line, first and 10. 10 minutes 57 seconds. Ingle up under center, receiver wide to the right. First man, number 24, not much there. See Buck Wiley back in, number 45. It's good to see him back after a, an injury. Cadets breaking huddle and discussion in the backfield as quarterback will get under center here at 10 minutes, 10 seconds. Toss, number 10. Pretty nice yardage on the far side, down close to the first down marker, but I believe just short. Pretty nice pickup. It's going to be third and one. That ball laying on the 22 yard line. Nine minutes, 38 seconds. No, still up six to nothing, but the cadets knocking here with a good field position. They have a third down and one. First man true. I'm far think Nothing there. and two as they must have fumbled the ball as I was totally faked. I was going with the second man through. I believe that was number two or ten. So here's Engel. See if he keeps it this time. No. Handing off to number ten and nothing there. And the nose of hell. There's number 45. It's going to be first down for the Monroe Central Seminoles here with 8 minutes 43 seconds leading 6 to nothing as we dodge the bullet there. Defense again coming up with a, a big, big play here. We'll break huddle and uh, Hughes with an eye backfield. Slot to the left, wide out far to the right. Looking. 
wide open, Nick Tillman. Nick Tillman, second touchdown of the night. Now, if I was Coach Stevens, I'd tell you exactly how many yards that was, but I don't have a clue. Has to be 70-some yards, but Billman right there at a nice wide open as Dexter Hughes laid that ball out, and it's 12 to nothing on our Barnesville Hospital scoreboard. And we'll go for two here after missing the last extra point. Dexter Hughes from the shotgun, twin to this side. Single sidecar is Raider. He's being pressured. And at the last second, we've got a flag. Trying to hit number 44, Raider. And at the last second, being covered there, but we do have a flag, so we'll see what this is. Pass interference, I would expect. what size you are, maybe it's time to transform your physique. For your convenience, Transforming Physiques is open all day, 8 a.m. to 8 p.m., Monday through Thursday, Fridays till 7, and Saturday 9 to 3. Take advantage of free weights and heavy-duty workout equipment. For expert advice, call trainer Jay Abel to schedule one-on-one -on -one fitness training. Aerobic classes will be starting in September. Adult, student, and family memberships are available at Transforming Physiques Fitness Center and Tanning Salon. on our Barnes Barnesville Hospital scoreboard. We've got a score of 12 to nothing, 8 minutes and 32 seconds. And uh, coaches talking to their troops. Next to getting some last minute instructions. So we'll try this again. A couple really nice plays for our nose. Nick Billman being the recipient of both of those. Dexter this time, and we have another flag. This one coming from the back judge. So they're going to step this one off again, half the distance. And we'll try it again. Second man through, ring, and he's untouched into the end zone. So after a couple of penalties, the Noel is able to drive this one in. So with eight minutes and some seconds remaining, it's going to be a 14 to nothing advantage for our nose on our Barnesville Hospital School Board. Things are looking pretty good. We've had some pretty good, some pretty good production by our offense this, on this game so far. Our defense, of course, playing pretty solidly all year long. It'd be great to get the offense in line. Laser again will tee this ball up and uh, 8 minutes 32 seconds 14 to nothing on our Barnesville Hospital school board and things looking pretty good weather is great tremendous evening and uh, Ingle.
Kimura at the 15 yard line. Makes his way around the right side. He's got some room, lots of room. Cuts back, one missed tackle, Lazier, the kicker, picks him up at the 40 yard line. What a deceptive runner. Number 11, Ingles, very deceptive coming around the outside, picking his spots and uh, doing a nice job bringing the ball back to the 40 yard line. So again, Fort Fry in beautiful position here with eight minutes and 20 seconds. So as soon as I said the defense was doing such a great job, our special teams kind of gives up a big gain here. We have twins out to both sides. Ingle from the shotgun, single sidecar. Oh, I believe we have encroachment. that somebody coming into the neutral zone and before the snap of the ball. So again, going to move it up five. It's going to be first down and five yards. Same formation. Twins to both sides. Ingles looking to pass. Got a man over the middle. No good. Incomplete. Intended for number nine, Buck Wiley and um, Tory Prickett there on the defense. Second down and five. Ball on the 34 yard line, eight minutes and 15 seconds. As the cadets break huddle. Again, twins to both sides. Single side car is number 24 in the backfield. Ingles from the shotgun. Gives off to 24, nothing gone. Looks like the ball flopped loose and number 53 dropping on it, but it was dead anyway, so no gain. Third and five. Possibly lost a yard on that. Might be third and six. Gets to the line. Ingles will go back into center. High backfield. In motion, number nine. Second man through, 34. Oh, I'm sorry, again. Looking to pass, and he's got a man. Number 10. It's a good thing the cameraman's here because I missed that one again. Officials time out with somebody down on the field. Start to the injury timeout, number 30, I'm sorry, 24, getting up and walking away. Uh, seven minutes remaining in this half. Beautiful evening for football. It's second and nine for the cadets. 14 to nothing on the Barnesville Hospital scoreboard. Very glad that my cameraman, camera lady, showed up. <laughs> it was a long evening shooting and talking. I don't do either one very good, as you all can see. Ingle tries to pick his way around the right side. Nothing there.
possibly picking up a yard. Going to bring up third and long, long eight. Ball going to be on just about the 15 yard line. Six minutes, 25 seconds. So with third down, I'll have two downs here to try to pick up this eight yards. It's 14 to nothing. They've got nothing to lose here. Angle will be in the shotgun formation. Twins to both sides. Single side card, number 32. Looking deep. Got number 24. Nothing there. Knocked away by Billman at the last second. Kind of tossed it up in the air. Had a lot of pressure. Tory Cricket knocking him down as he let the ball go. And had a man in the end zone, but the ball knocked away. Slightly high to begin with. It would have been a beautiful catch if he could have got it, but so we dodged another bullet, 605, 14 to nothing. Looks like they're going to try this from the, this will be a kick from the 25 yard line, number 55. 24 yard line with a hold from number nine. In high school ball, this would be a pretty nice kick. If he could drive this one through. Still fiddling with his equipment. Now we're ready. Hold. And... No good. Field goal was short. They said the ball must have been tipped as McConnell, I believe it was, came in and uh, hit the kicker just to let it go. So with uh, 5 minutes and 59 seconds, it's a 15 to nothing ball game in favor of our Knowles on the Barnesville Hospital scoreboard. And it's been a pretty good production night for Nick Billman as he has two touchdowns. A beautifully thrown pass from Hoagie, uh, first play of the game on an end around. And the second one, you know, on the opposite direction, uh, some 70-some yards, possibly 80, uh, for a touchdown. In the second quarter, Hughes under center, wing right. Second man, Cricket, and he picks up big yardage up the right side. He's going to be short of the first down, but he's going to pick up about eight. Tory Cricket doing a nice job. Nice hold, good blocking. Second down and one. Five minutes, 40 seconds. Norton wide to this side. High backfield. Slot to this side is Raider. Again, second man this time to be ring. First down plus, And he'll pick up possibly four. So we'll move the sticks here. Uh, first and ten, ball laying on the 33-yard line, 32-yard line. Second man again. This is Tory Put. No, I'm sorry, this is Ring. Five. Five yards, bringing it up to the 30, up six yards. 38 yard line. Four minutes, 40 seconds on the rolling clock. Full house backfield. Hughes. Second man. Prick it again. Three yards. Slant off the left. It's going to bring up third and a long one. Raider, stop 
stopped at the line and he's not going to make it, I don't believe. It's going to be close. But I do believe, looking from this angle, it's going to be short. They will measure this. 3 minutes and 39 seconds. We just didn't get the surge on the left side of the line and uh, I don't believe we picked up enough here. About that much, he says. seconds from the crowning of the homecoming queen for 2005. Been a quick evening and a beautiful evening. Looked like rain early but it's just very nice and cool. Comfortable standing up on the, the press box. We're going to go for this fourth and one. Hughes under center. Need to get a good surge from the line. And Hughes straight forward and his momentum is going to take him to about the 45 yard line which is going to be enough for first down and plus. Very nice surge that time as the uh, six foot plus frame of Hughes going across picking up three first and ten 45 yard line three minutes 17 seconds. Like to punch one in before the halftime here. 14 to nothing on a Barnesville Hospital scoreboard. Looking to pass. Drops it out here wide. Picked up by Nick Dillman. Beautiful job. One-handed reception. Short pickup of about four yards. Dillman's got some nice hands. He picked that one up. One-handed. Looked like it was going to be long. Just wasn't anything there. He was covered. Dillman will report to the far side now. High backfield. Second man. And this is Ring. Ring's got some room. And he's down to the 37 yard line. Nice hole. Number 12 making the stop. Big first down. Three, two minutes, 36 seconds. And we're turning up some yards here. on the 37-yard line, first and 10. Toss, ring, he's got some block, getting it to the outside, cuts it in, and we got a, we got a flag. I believe this one's coming back, folks. Dillman and Wells standing here talking with Coach. It's going to be first and 18. They'll report in and after a long step off. We're going to place this ball just about the 45 yard line. 45, 46 yard line. Two minutes and 11 seconds and a half. Twins to both sides. Single sidecar. Raider. Hughes in the shotgun, in motion. Looking, got some pressure, steps up, drops it off underneath. Wells, Wells got enough for the first down, down to the 26 yard line. Wells standing in there and Hughes delivering the ball, had some pressure, sidestepping the pressure and getting the ball off. Nice job, and we've got first down and 10 at the 26, 1 minute 47 seconds. On our Barnesville Hospital scoreboard, 14 to nothing, we'd like to change that before the halftime. Twins to both sides, shotgun, low, snap, steps up, 
He's got some pressure from the backside looking, and he's going to tuck this and get it down to about the 23-yard line. Don't believe he made it out of bounds. Now the clock is rolling at 117. No one broke open on that and had some pressure coming from the back side. Step to this side. Ball laying on the 22-yard line. Second and six. Twins, both sides. Raider in the backfield with Hughes. Hughes. Got a man and it's wide. He had Tory Prickett breaking to the the left side just overthrowing. Lots of pressure that time as one cadet coming in untouched. One, 48 seconds, 47.9 seconds remaining in this first half. Third and six. Twins to this side. Hughes, shotgun. Got a man, Raider. Still on his feet, he steps out at the about eight yard line. Saw that one develop right there in front of us, but uh, trying to sideline, you know, just tight rope that sideline, stepped on the line. And so we're going to have this first and 10, 40 and a half seconds. It's at the 10 yard line. Twins both sides. Rigger, the sidecar. Hughes in the shotgun. Ball snapped low. Picks it up. Got a man underneath. Cricket at the 2 yard line, 3 yard line. 32 seconds. Time. Seminoles. So on our Barnesville Hospital School Board, it is 14 to nothing, and we're right down getting ready to knock, hopefully, to take this one in before half. We do have the crowning of the Queen at halftime, and uh, the uh, Fort Fry Band playing before, before time. We had the presentation of the candidates before the game, and uh, always exciting time for the high school kids and the crowning the queen or the queen the king was last night plenty of time here with 32 seconds remaining it's second and three Breaking huddle. You can hear the crowd getting into this as second man through. Ring. Ring's got a lot of room. He's right down the line, if not in. No, they're calling it right on the line. Third and one. 20 seconds. Quickly. Spiking the ball. I saw a shoe thrown out of there. I don't know where exactly that came from. I guess that was Ring's shoe. Ring getting his shoe back and uh, Fort Fry now wanting to call timeout. Fourth and one is 14.3 seconds and a fourth and one. So my camera lady didn't miss all the excitement. Uh, as she missed the first two quarters almost, but I'm glad you're here, Georgia. I have some notes here from Athletic Director Junior Winland. Pre-sale tickets for next week's Magnolia game will be on sale Thursday and Friday at Monroe Central. High school only. $5 for adults, $3 for students. That's looking well ahead, and I will give that information to you again, but I thought with the downtime here, soccer tomorrow at Magnolia at 11 a.m. Anyone would like to go watch that, our young soccer team. All right, here we 
go. Fourth and one, 14.3 seconds. Punch this one in, 14 to nothing on the Barnesville Hospital scoreboard. Hughes under center. High backfield. Ring, and he is not going to be touched as he goes around the edge. Everybody looking for up the middle, and he just stepped around the end, and at 11.3 seconds, it's a 20 to nothing in favor of our nose on the Barnesville Hospital scoreboard. And Singleton on to attempt the point after. Snap, kick, and it is good. So, 11.3 seconds, 21 to nothing in favor of the Seminoles. And that's kind of what we've been waiting on all year long. Of course, the cadets coming in, you know, with an 0-4 record. You never know what exactly people are bringing in. But, uh, you know, we needed this. Both teams needed to win this ball game. And you can see the intensity early here. Uh, our nose just to need to get some confidence and consistency. They, uh, if the one thing that they've neglected or not, not had all year, you know, and I'm very novice, but uh, the only thing that I see as a fan, you know, is consistency. They do everything well, but just not consistently. And uh, once we get all of those areas in, in line, I think they're going to be an exciting ball team to watch, an exciting ball club to follow. We just need to stay behind them and not give up. Laser coming out. Standing deep for the cadets be number 31 and number 24. I don't have a program, so I have no idea who these people are except for a couple of three numbers, and I left my notebook at home, so all the notes that I did have are there. Very nice kick to end this half. Not wanting to get it up in the air where they got a chance to, to get it to angle and uh, and produce something here, keeping it on the ground. Kind of a roller. Kind of fumbled the ball around, but the cadets are going to have this. They're going to place it down at the 30, about the 20, uh, 29 yard line. And they'll have seven seconds to do something here for a last play. The nose are going to drop back in uh, deep protect position. Billman, uh, Cole Lewis, and Wells. Just not let anything underneath, and quickly, Troy Cricket comes straight up and tackles the uh, receiver, number 30, 36, and that's going to do it for this first half. So, with a half on, the Monroe Central Seminoles are at a head in this game, and in the Barnesville Hospital scoreboard, 21 to nothing, and we'll have the crowning of our new homecoming queen. Emergencies happen 24 hours a day. When seconds count and options matter, you need access to a facility close to home. An emergency room in a hospital with a direct link to Ohio State University medical specialists. Doctors and nurses there for you 24 hours a day. The emergency services at Barnesville Hospital are ready when seconds count. What option will you choose? Urgent care with limited hours or 24-hour care from an accredited hospital? Barnesville Hospital Emergency Services. Why buy it and store it when you can just ask Woodsfield True Value for the tools and equipment you need for your next project? Let that auger, log splitter, 40 foot extension ladder, or pressure washer just in time for fall chores. If you need earth moving equipment, hand tools, party supplies, lawn and garden tools, or stuff for automotive care, concrete work, plumbing, and so much more, help is just around the corner at Just Ask Rental. Woodsfield True Value. GAP Wireless is your hometown wireless agent. That's great news for you because now you don't have to drive 30 miles or more if you have a simple problem with your cell phone. 
maybe your current plan just isn't right for you and the way you use your phone. Well, GAP Wireless is your one-stop shop for wireless. Stop in to customize your plan, pick up accessories, or check out the latest audio and video streaming camera phone with a radio. GAP Wireless is an Altel authorized agent. If you're around others that smoke, you are at rest. Sitting behind someone who is smoking in a stadium for three hours is the same thing as a non-smoker smoking one cigarette. Riding in a car with somebody who is smoking with the windows rolled up for one hour is the same as a non-smoker smoking four cigarettes. And sitting in the non-smoking section of a restaurant is just like smoking one and a half cigarettes. Your choice leaves us no choice. To learn how to protect yourself and others from secondhand smoke, call Monroe County Tobacco Use Prevention and Control at 472-1677. Would you like to break the tobacco habit? We can help. Call Tammy at the Monroe County Health Department, 472-1677, extension 204. Hi, I'm Bill Respect. You heard me talk many times about how we offer you the best variety at the best possible price every day. And we do it with no cards, no gimmicks, no hassle. Just like you, we're working to get the most we can for the money we spend. So if these things are important to you, come home to Respects. We'll even add customer service as we continue what Grandma started over 70 years ago. McDonald's of Woodsfield is not just great food and lots of fun, it's a vital part of our community. Perla and Dell believe in supporting our kids. That's why McDonald's is proud to be the exclusive halftime sponsor for the Monroe Central Seminars. And proud to offer 24-hour drive through service. McDonald's food whenever you're hungry. This is the receiver of the Woodsfield Reds, and I'm loving it. Stop by and try McDonald's latest chicken premium sandwiches. We're loving it! So before or after the big game, celebrate at McDonald's. Well, with the second half starting here on the Barnesville Hospital scoreboard, it's a 21 to nothing advantage for the Knowles. Number 55 for the Cadets will tee this up. T.J. Lang. Lang is 5'6", 185 pounds, senior. As you can see, I did get a program at the halftime. Thank you very much, Josie. And uh, back deep will be Wells, Hughes, I'm sorry, Hughes, Billman, and uh, Ringo. He gets it at the 15-yard line. Billman got a hole, and he was hit quickly at the 32-yard line by number seven. Number seven is Ian Bullock. Try to get things organized here in uh, a little better fashion in the second half. I apologize for the first half. Hopefully it came through okay. We had a homecoming crowning. Congratulations to Jules Jones and our king, um, Leisure. And the football, Chris Leisure, number 85. Second man through ring as he gets to the outside, got some room down close to the first down marker at the 43-yard line. Number seven, Bullock taking him out of bounds. Going to bring up second and three. Hughes breaks huddle, full house backfield. First man through, close to the first down. That'd be Raider. First down. I'm sorry, that was... Uh, It was not Raider, he wasn't in. Buck Wiley. Buck Wiley, after an extended injury, into the uh, lineup. Very nice job, good to have him back. First and ten. Ring again off the right side, hit 
quickly by number 10, Trent Best. Pick up of three, pick up of two, second down and eight. to this side, eye backfield. Wells in the slot, looking to pass. He's got Billman, nice job Billman at the 30, the 20, 15, 10, pulled out of bounds by number 12 at the 10 yard line. Steve Kramer, again, Billman getting behind the, re the defensive man, nice laid out ball. Billman picks it up for a long yardage. ball would be placed on the 10 yard line and with uh, 10 minutes and 39 seconds we're knocking on the door here again already up 21 to nothing on our Barnesville Hospital scoreboard Hughes under center eye backfield well slot to the left toss ring ring cuts inside ball's loose and I believe number 55 fell on the ball for the cadets TJ Lang you can see the ball pop loose there as Ring got hit. He was trying to cut to the inside and he had a pop on the ball and up in the air. And uh, so just that quickly, what looked like a promising position on the field for us turns into a first and 10 at the 15 yard line for the cadets. Number 44 Raider coming out with uh, what looks like ankle Twins to the left, single in the backfield, toss. 24, the ball carrier. Calvin Dixon, six foot, 200 pound, senior. Turns it up and picks up two. I'm sorry, four, second down and four. In the shotgun, trying to drop it off. A lot of pressure, overthrown. Oh, in and out of the hands of a... Cole Lewis had his hand on it, dove for the ball, and uh, just not able to come up with a lot of pressure on the quarterback number 11. Tyler Ingle, their quarterback, is six foot one, 170 pound. I'm sorry, 5'11", 180, and only a junior. Bringing up third and six. Ball on the 19-yard line, 18-yard line. Ingo, shotgun, and we've got encroachment again, I do believe. Costly mistake there. Five yards going to bring it down. Third and a long one. Total different situation here now. Again, they'll send twins to either side. Sidecar will be number 24, I believe, along with Ingles. Ingles dropping. Hits over the middle. No good. In incomplete. Intended for number 36 in the middle of the field, and he did get a hand on it, unable to hold it. 36 is Randy Dennis, 5'806 pound junior. So no harm there as uh, the penalty got them awfully close to a uh, the first down marker, but we're able to hold, and they're going to have to punt this out deep in their own territory. We'll have uh, Nick Billman and Wells standing on the 50 yard line. We'll get this ball in good. Good field position again, high snap. Ball just barely got away. Oh, gonna take a tremendous 4-5 bounce. 
and we had three guys right in there. I'm not too sure how the guy got the ball away, but he did. Kept his cool, kicked it away, and uh, so we're going to get this ball. Ball is going to be placed on the 50-yard line, and we'll have first and 10 here with 9.33 to go in this third quarter. backfield. Well slot left, hand off this side ring. Tries to break it back, nothing there. Number 10 is there and grabs an ankle. Number 10, Trent Best. Trying to tra change positions and get to the far side as nothing was open to the right and uh, just came up and grabbed his ankle. Second and 10, ball still on the 50 yard line. In the shotgun, twins, both sides, a lot of pressure, good defense, stepping away now, stepping back up, looking underneath, and it's caught, ring, Zach Ring on the reception, nice job on both ends of that, <coughs> Dexter doing a good job keeping his composure, stepping up from the pressure, and hitting Ringo as he had got into the middle of the field, and for a first down. A 16 yard pickup. Buck Wiley coming into the ball game now with the play. Eight minutes, 37 seconds. Break huddle, eye backfield. Gives it to Pricker. Pricket. Nothing going. Loss of a couple. Roman wide out to the left this time, high backfield, fakes, looks underneath, got a man wide here, and overthrown. Intended for Wells. Wells went to his knees trying to get out to it. Just a little wide, third and 11, side with Wells and Ringo to this side. Billman and Prickett to the other side. He was looking underneath. He's got Ringo at the 15 down to the 12 yard line. Another nice pickup. Great job. again in the middle of the field working on that shoe. Dexter coming back in, Prickett coming out. First and ten. Ball on the 12 yard line, 13 yard line. 7.24 in this third quarter. Second and we got a flag. Ball start. Legal procedure and bring this ball back five yards. Going to be first and 15. Ball at the 19 yard line.
Ringo up the middle, nice cut back. Nice move, he's inside the 10 yard line down to about the five. They're gonna mark it about the six yard line. Pretty nice job there by Ring. Diving through the, uh, the, uh, the line of scrimmage. Quick move and nice cut. Gonna bring up second and two ball on the six yard line. So again, 6.28, we're down knocking again. Already up 21 nothing on our Barnesville Hospital scoreboard in motion. Cricket, ring, cuts it, and he's down to the about two yard line. Looks like he's got a first down. Another nice hole on the left side. Picks up the first down, so we've got a new set of downs here inside the five, marking the ball on the two. Hughes coming in from getting the uh, play from coach. In motion. Cricket. Straight up the middle. Ringo again, untouched. Nothing fancy about that, just straight up the middle. As Coach was saying Thursday night on his show, you know, we haven't changed anything in 25 years. Basic plays is just execution. And that time doing a good job of uh, doing what you're supposed to do. Singleton coming back and um, get this extra point. We're already up 27 nothing. Five minutes, 48 seconds. Falls down, up, and it is good. So on the Barnesville Hospital scoreboard, it's 27 to nothing in favor of the Seminoles. We're going to take a break and we'll be back with the last 5 minutes and 48 seconds of this third quarter. When we first opened our doors in 1929, Marietta Memorial Hospital marked the beginning of a commitment to health care in our community. From the start, the vision of compassionate care has been the standard for all that we do. Through the years, Marietta Memorial has been a leader in our community with advancements in both patient care and technology. As we celebrate our 75th anniversary, we continue that commitment, working to make a measurable difference in the health of the community where we live and work. Since 1887, folks have trusted Woodsfield Savings Bank with their financial needs. So when you need someone to lead you with your financial decisions, come to the friendly folks at Woodsfield Savings Bank where customers count. Because of your busy schedule, we offer a drive through and night deposit box, as well as convenient parking, direct deposit, and automatic payments. The folks at Woodsfield Savings Bank truly believe that making an investment in our kids brings the biggest return to our community. Yeah. Yeah. On the Barnesville Hospital School Board, 28 to nothing, and that's just what the doctors ordered. You can hear the crowd as the uh, cheerleaders are throwing footballs up into the stands. Laser kicking. Nice high kick. Engel will get it at the 10, 11 yard line. Coming this side, he's got some blocks. Hits his own man, and he's going to dive forward to about the 38 yard line. You know that you're quarterback must be your best athlete if he's uh, lining up to return punts and kicks. So, um, they'll have this in pretty good field position again at the 37 yard line, first and 10, 540. Single under center. Twins to the far side, single to this side, tossing back to number 24. He breaks loose and comes back to the line of scrimmage. Nothing there. Calvin Dixon got the ball pretty deep in the backfield and tried to get back, and there just wasn't anything. He picked up a yard on that. Going to be second and nine, ball on the 38-yard line. 
on a running clock at 5.18. They're going to send wide outs, twins to both sides. Single back in the backfield is Dixon, number 24, is a sidecar. Engel looking underneath, got lots of pressure. Just side sex one, he's going to pick up uh, number 44 here. Standing right in front of us, going to be short of the first down, right at the 45 yard line. Number 44 was Randy Tompkins. Picking up uh, about five yards, going to be third and two. We had lots of pressure. Uh, Prickett doing a good job getting in and just couldn't make the tackle in the backfield. Flushing him out, but he did find the receiver, so it's going to be third and two. Ball laying on the 45 yard line, five minutes in the third quarter remaining. 28 nothing. Second man, 30, 36 is the ball carrier. Randy Dennis, going to be short, I do believe. Yes, going to be short by a good bit. Or maybe not. They are going to measure this, but I do believe it's going to be short. Should be right in front of us there where we can see it. We can get a close-up. Our chain crew bringing the, uh, the sticks in to check this one out. Get it placed, and we're going to be short just about that much. Fourth and very short. I would think 28 to nothing here. They'd probably go for this. I'd look for Engel doing something. Twins to the far side, a single to this side. We have 44 and 36 in the backfield. Engel under center and false start. That'll back him up. So fourth and very, very short. Everything's going to change here. And as a mediocre team, you just can't do that. You know, Fort Fry not having a good season, trying to get things under control. And uh, those are the kind of little mistakes that uh, kill you. Kind of things that we've been doing the last few games and trying to get under control. Tonight, with a few exceptions, done much better. Kick is high. Wells is going to let it roll. It's going to take a Fort Fry roll, get inside the 15-16 yard line. It's a pretty nice kick. We're going to have first and 10 ball laying on the 16 yard line, 4 minutes and 23 seconds, 28 to nothing in favor of the Knowles. I even hate to say it, but the first, uh, first day of fall, it almost feels a little cool up here when you're standing in shorts and a short sleeve shirt. But it does feel good. little confusion in the backfield. Wing right. Buckwiley. Straight up the middle. Picks up possibly five. Now uh, four. Gonna bring up second and six ball on the 20 yard line. Announced ring, I'm not sure it was. I thought it was Buck Wiley, but maybe you can see that better than I did. 355, second and six on the 20 yard line. High backfield. Toss. Cricket. Nice job bringing it back. First down. Cricket's a very nice little ball, ball player. Does a nice job keeping your head, head up, looking for the holes. Second 
Hogue coming in. Leisure come out. Again, this is Hoagie, I believe. Not much there. Cricket again. I've got the best eyes in town, don't I? <laughs> 24 looks like 10. <clears throat> Nick Billman, who's had a really good evening standing here in front of us, wide out on this side, high backfield. Hughes, first man through. Not much there. Stood up the line and, uh, if anything, yard. 228. And I do believe that was Buck Wiley that time. Shotgun, side cars on either side, blocking, ooh, from back, got away from one, looking underneath, ooh, nothing there, and flags. Somebody came in from the far side, unblocked, Hughes got away from him, stepping up and throwing the ball underneath, and uh, nobody there, intentionally grounding. So we're going to have to kick this away. Fourth and nine, 149. Habig will be standing right at the end line, uh, goal line. Good try. Ingles going to get it at the, whoops, he didn't get it, number 12 picks it up at the 36, he spins away from one, but he's caught at the 36 yard line. Steve Kramer, 6'1", 165, a junior. They're going to have this in pretty good field position at the uh, 35 yard line for their first and 10, one minute and 36 seconds remaining first quarter. 28 to nothing here. Ingle again from the shotgun. Twins to the far side. Now one splits out wide. Triplets on the far side. Single. Wide out this side. A lot of pressure. Underneath and knocked away at the last second by Cricket, number 24. Looked like he had a man wide open in the area and uh, Cricket put his hand up and knocked the ball away just at the, the last second. So, incomplete. Second and ten. Dixon is a sidecar for shotgun. A lot of pressure. Steps up and he's caught from behind, but he gets away from one and not the second. Ishi pulls him down at the line. Good pick up. Well, no, he's going to pick up nothing. They're going to put it right at the 35 again. Had him behind the line of scrimmage and he got away from one tackler and was able to get ahead. Ishi brings him down right at the line, third and 10. The 35 yard line, 105 on a rolling clock.
pressure and oh he gets away from one drops the ball off and no good Buck Wiley had him in the line of sight and uh, just wasn't able to bring him to the ground but it's fourth down fourth and ten at 35 yard line Tyler Stevens number two coming in a freshman with the play Fourth and ten. Twins to both sides. Single set in the backfield. Ingles dropping. He's got pressure. Drops it over the middle. Intercepted at the 30 to 28 yard line. Cole Lewis. So one way or another, this was going to become our ball. If the ball is knocked away or intercepted, but Cole Lewis picks it off right there at the 30, it's going to be marked at the 30 yard line. So we'll have it first and 10, 36 seconds, 36.7 seconds remaining in this uh, third quarter. Up 28 to zip on the Barnesville Hospital scoreboard. Dexter break the huddle and get under center. Full house backfield. Second man. Not much there. Yard. Q, I'm sorry, ring. Ring your ball carrier. Second and eight, 32 yard line. We're gonna be under 10 seconds. Don't believe we'll have to snap this one. So that's gonna take care of the third quarter on the Barnesville Hospital scoreboard. It's 28 to nothing in favor of our Knowles. We'll be right back with the fourth quarter of action. The Woodsfield Clinic, a division of Wheeling Hospital, opened recently with familiar and friendly faces in the office. Joan and Jamie Miller area many of the patients, which is a huge asset to the clinic. Dr. Charles Denunzio brings 30 years of healthcare experience and is focused on the needs of a rural practice. The Woodsville Clinic will be expanding to five days a week starting September 6th to meet community needs. We are here because you ask us to be. A division of Wheeling Hospital, finding solutions, serving with care. Most financial institutions like to talk about how big and strong they are. At Ohio Valley Community Credit Union, we'll show you just how big. Ohio Valley Community Credit Union. We're as big and strong as all of our member groups. Everyone in Belmont County and everyone in Monroe County. Ohio Valley Community Credit Union. Final 12 minutes of 28 to nothing on the Monzo Hospital scoreboard, and we're in control here. Delay handoff, Prickett. Prickett's got right to the first down. I'm very impressed with number 28, Tory Prickett. He does a very nice job. Nice looking young man. We do have an injury. Uh, cadets have somebody down. Looks like maybe he's. Number 11, that's Ingle, their quarterback. That'd be a big loss. Looks like he has a hand injury of some type. They're going to escort him off. Um, hopefully nothing too much. You know, he's a nice athlete, and you'd, you'd hate to see a team with uh, their best athlete, one of their best athletes, getting injured in a game that's already 28 to nothing. We have some things here that we'll go over for you, you know, um, Athletic Director Junior Willing gave me some things here that's going on this coming week, and so we'll kind of keep you up to date on that kind of stuff. As we hand off goes to Buck Wiley. Buck Wiley picking up the first down plus. 
about eight yards. Pre-sale tickets for next week's Magnolia game. Magnolia game will be at, at Magnolia. It will go on sale Thursday and Friday at Monroe Central High School only. Uh, of course, uh, adults $5 and students 3 Tomorrow, Saturday, uh, our soccer team will be at Magnolia, 11 a.m. And, uh, you know, we all need to get out and watch some soccer games. And, you know, that's a sport that, if you're like me, you don't know too often much about. So, you know, I'm excited to get out there and, and take in a couple of soccer games. Monday, the JVs the football team will be at Fort Fry at about 5.30. And the volleyball team will be at Shenandoah at 6. The freshman volleyball team will be at home. They, they first the Buckeye Trail at 6 p.m. So you got a lot of stuff there to choose from on Monday night. Tuesday, the volleyball is at Union Local for a try. Uh, effective with uh, Cambridge and Union Local. That starts at 5 p.m. And the golf is in the OHSAA sectionals already at Willendale Golf Course. And uh, Tuesday, we also have soccer at St. Mary's at 6.30. So all kinds of things going on. So keep that in your calendar book. Get out and, and, and watch some of these other kids in the Monroe Central High School um, and in junior high. And so on. Lots and lots and lots of activities out there if you want to get involved watching the young kids play. Hughes under center. Motion. Ring. Hand off. Buck Wiley to the right. Nice four yards. So his knee doesn't look like it's bothering too much there. Pick up a long four. Ball right in front of us here on the 48-yard line. On uh, Fort Fire's 48-yard line. Second and six. 11 minutes. Remaining in this ball game. Motion. Cricket coming to this side. Toss. Ring. Puts it back. No going. Number 10 there to meet him, Trent Dust. Didn't buy any of that. Third. Look, looks like Ring may have some uh, cramping. Taking a little bit of time getting up. So he'll have to come out for a play. Hogue, Wells, and Billman coming in with this play. The big guys, Lazier and Norton, will come out along with Ring. Twins to both sides. Shotgun. Riley, the only one in the backfield. Nice job underneath, thrown underneath, uh, intended for Hogue. Just a little underthrown. Fourth and six at 10 18. We've got to kick this away. Big, the 40-yard line. Step, kick. This one goes off the side of his foot, and it's going to bounce him to about the 35-yard line. Very short punt there. Didn't exactly get all of that one, so the cadets are going to have it in their own territory at the 35-yard uh, line. First and 10, 10 minutes remaining in the ball game. in the ball game. Oh, again, stepping across. Third time tonight we've done that. An easy five yard here. So it's going to be first and five at the ball at the 40 yard line.
doesn't matter too much in a game where it's 28 to nothing, but those things hurt you when you're single digit ball game. Oh, good pressure delivered to 44 on the far sideline. 44 Randy Tompkins. Ingles hit hard as he let go of the ball. I didn't get the number of the bus that, that took him down, but it was first down. Ball's going to be placed at the 48 yard line. Ingles standing calmly and delivering the ball. First down. First and ten. Still ten minutes remaining in the ball game. Ingles under center. Tip it to this side. Oh, he's hit immediately. Somebody got through there before the ball almost. Both sides, Engel, shotgun. Hand off to 24, nothing going. Single set in the backfield, sidecar, and they hand it off and uh, trying to get a draw play, nothing there. Possibly lost one, two. Ball on the 44 yard line. The defense again tonight doing a very good job. Offense looking good at times, very good at times. I think we'd all be very, very pleased if we get some consistency in it. Very nice job Doc. Trying to drop that off on underneath, but uh, wasn't going to go anywhere anyway. Just a quick hitter underneath the 44. Unable to hold on to it, but there are a lot of red jerseys around him. Fourth down. with uh, some confusion on the field is what the coaching staff wanted. We've got a timeout here at 8 minutes and 40 seconds remaining in this ball game. So we'll take our last timeout here and we'll be back with the last 8 minutes on our Barnesville Hospital scoreboard. 28 to nothing in favor of our Knowles. Dr. Jay Seidler and nurse practitioner Carol Schumacher, staff of Marietta Healthcare Physicians, want to take this opportunity to thank all of their patients for your continued support over the past several years. Dr. Seidler and Carol are thrilled to come home and serve your healthcare needs. We're here for you Monday through Friday and accessible by phone and other times. So if you're already a patient, thank you. If not, call to make arrangements for transferring your medical records to Marietta Healthcare Physicians. going to go for it here. 840 looking to pass. Steps up. A lot of pressure. A lot of pressure. Going nowhere. Ishi from the backside. Defense just collapsed on him. He really didn't have anyone open downfield. He had somebody look like they might open up, but uh, not time. So 833. It's going to be first and ten, ball on the 40-yard line. And the Knowles will take this uh, last eight minutes and 33 seconds to uh, do some different things. Quarterback coming in, Cole Lewis. Ball 
Ball Carrier 34, Mikey Habig. Habig, 6'2", 180-pound freshman. Picks up three. Lewis on the center. Takes the snap here with uh, Mikey Habig again, number 34. Couple. 7.45 remaining in the contest. Russell and Shoemaker coming out. Lewis keeps around this left end. Not too much there. He may have picked up a yard, but not much more than that. Gonna bring up fourth down. Fourth down and two, six minutes and uh, 40 seconds. Billy Bromson wide to the right. High backfield looking. Overthrown. Just a little high. Billy Bromson, 5'11", 160-pound senior. Thrown just a little high and behind him, but... Uh, Nice attempt. Defense will report back to the field now. It's going to be first and ten on the 32-yard line for the cadets as they have six minutes to do something here. Looking, he's got some pressure again, a lot of pressure, and nowhere. <laughs> Big loss on the play, five yards, second and 15 on the 27-yard line, 6.04. Pass to Randy Tompkin, Tompkins. He'll get back to the original line of scrim scrimmage and possibly pick up a couple. Going to be at the 34-yard line. Going to bring up third and nine. It's third down and eight on the 34-yard line. Nearing the five-minute mark. Twins to both sides. We've got fly up here. Yeah, we're looking for seizure. Step off five. Going to bring up... Third and 13. More fly. 
Jags. Pass intended down underneath number 36. Dennis. all the way up to the 45-yard line. First down. Engle. Trying to run this himself. He had the option to pitch the ball and tried to cut it back up underneath and nothing there. Noten along with a couple friends stopping him. A loss of one, second 11, 43 yard line. We're nearing the four minute mark. High backfield. Single set wide, looking. Pressure from the backfield, Cricket. Cricket's gonna run it down, ball's loose. Picked up by Laser. Laser there for a second looked like he wanted to be a running back. He <laughs> looked like he'd scoop that ball up and take it to the end zone. Tory Prickett causing that, you know, getting pressure from the backside and uh, Engel not having the ball secured, flipped it up in the air, and Laser coming down with it. Cole Lewis back under center, Mikey Habig, and uh, number 11, Mike Russell. Mike Russell off the right side, nice hole. John Schumacher also in the back in the backfield, uh, running back. Getting a chance to see the JVs here at the last three minutes and some seconds. <coughs> Good to give them the opportunity on a Friday night in front of the home stands to play. Number 36 being helped off the field. He uh, has his helmet off under his own power. 3.35 on a rolling clock, second and five. Cole Lewis will take the snap. Full house backfield. Russell again off the right. And he picks up a couple before he's knocked backwards. left. Mikey Haybig. Fourth down here, fourth and two, Russell coming in. Shoemaker. John Shoemaker coming out on this play. Russell and Habig in the backfield. Toss, Russell, he's got the first down, and a little more. Over the 20 yard line, so we're gonna have first and 10, ball's gonna be set about the 18. Two minute mark coming up. 28 to nothing on our Barnesville Hospital scoreboard. Been a pretty good evening for the offense this this one evening. Russell breaks it to the inside. Going to be at the 15-yard line. 
pick up of three. I'd like to see the young kids get a get a score in here. Second and seven, 15 yard line, 115. Habig brings it back, still on his feet, still driving, and he's going to be stopped. About the 11, 12 yard line. Kept his feet driving, looked like he was going to be twisting away and get extra yardage, and uh, it's going to be third and three here. Nice pickup. We're under a minute here on the rolling clock, 28 to nothing. Cole Lewis, take the snap. Johnny Shoemaker, picks up a couple. Gonna be a yard short of the first down, 22 seconds. A lot of shuffling in and out here. Seven seconds, five, two, and that's the ball game. A very good evening here at Monroe Memorial Park. A 28 to nothing win on the Barnesville Hospital scoreboard for our Monroe Central Seminole. This is uh, the one that we've been kind of waiting on. You know, it's nice to have the, uh, the production on the offensive side. It's nice to have the shutout. Um, well, this is a very good win. Very good to get them a win here going into Magnolia next week because that is going to be a big game. But it's been a very good evening. Very cool evening. Very nice. And thanks for watching. This is Dale Eddy along with my camera lady, Joe. And uh, we'll see you next week at Magnolia. Have a good week. Emergencies happen 24 hours a day. When seconds count and options matter, you need access to a facility close to home. An emergency room in a hospital with a direct link to Ohio State University medical specialists. Doctors and nurses there for you 24 hours a day. The emergency services at Barnesville Hospital are ready when seconds count. What option will you choose? Urgent care with limited hours or 24-hour care from an accredited hospital? Barnesville Hospital Emergency Services. Green Acres is the place to go Garden tilling or grass to mow Showroom spread out so far and wide Come and see all our four-wheel rides Ah, the steels are what you've got to see Good price, service repairs, extra care, save a buck, you're really in luck, Green Acres.